Nueva vulnerabilidad en Zoom permite grabaciones de forma anónima. Incluso con las posiciones de seguridad actuales, lo muestra Morphisec en la prueba que hicieron a la aplicación. Veamos el video. The following video is a demonstration of how a weakness in the Zoom application can be leveraged by a threat actor to turn it into an info stealer and evade prevention and detection by traditional AV and EDR tools. First, you'll see the victim, in this case it is Michael, is sending an invite to the pen tester. We'll call her Sally for this demonstration for a Zoom session. Note that both the threat actor and the victim are using the most up-to-date version of Zoom with all the security features installed. They're also running antivirus with all the security features turned on. You'll see here that the Zoom application is running normally on both machines. To show that this is a real live Zoom session, Michael will first send a message to Sally saying hello. And you can see that she receives that message in real time. Sally can, in turn, send a message back that Michael will receive in real time. First, to show what a Zoom session is supposed to look like when it's being recorded, Michael will begin a recording of this session. You can see here that all participants are noted that the session is being recorded. There is indication on both machines that the session is being recorded. Now, we'll also show that Michael has turned off recording for other participants. You can see Sally has tried to record, but those privileges are not granted to her, so she cannot by normal means. She's going to ask Michael if she can record, and Michael will say no, because he's going to share sensitive information, and he wants to be sure that none of this is recorded or saved by any of the people on the line. Now he's going to share that sensitive information. In this case, it's not really sensitive information, but we did want to show something interesting, which is attack trends that we have seen across our customer base. You can see that uptick in yellow is phishing attacks that have risen dramatically since the work from home mandates. Now we'll see Sally is going to use her malicious code to allow her to record the session despite the fact that she does not have privileges according to the Zoom application and what makes this particularly scary is that Michael has no indication that this session is being recorded. Typically there would be an indication at the top as well as an indication here to say that the session is being recorded. Sally will now send a chat to Michael, which he thinks will not be recorded, and will later show that it in fact was. Now the pen tester will end the session and we can see that the malware manipulated Zoom to output the recording in a controlled folder and triggered Zoom to decrypt the session without user notification. Here that chat that Michael thought was not recorded clearly was saved for the pen tester's use. Additionally, an output video of all that was shared during the presentation from screen sharing as well as video from webcams, if that was on, are saved for her use.